everyone, welcome back to Everyday EV and our debunking common electric vehicle misconception video series. Today we are focusing on the battery lifespan and debunking the common misconception that electric vehicle batteries have to be replaced after only a few years. Mm -hmm. Specifically the common misconception about two to three years. So for this video, we this video is sponsored by our sponsor, Recurrent, and we'll dive further into their battery data reports later on in this video. But this video specifically targets the Chevy Bolt EV and the Chevy Bolt EUV. So as you guys may know, we actually had on our channel a Chevy Bolt for the last two and a half years and about 25,000 miles. So we do have quite a lot of experience with our battery. We obviously don't have 100,000 miles like a lot of 2017 and 2018 Bolt owners but at least we have some experience with, you know, the battery health yep. of our bolt. Yep. So we'll dive further into that and we'll start off with exactly why you shouldn't worry about the battery lifespan, at least initially. So before we dive into warranty information about the Bolt EV and the Bolt EUV, let's talk about how commonplace batteries are in our life just really quickly. So anywhere from the cell phone that you're watching this to your toothbrush to your electric vehicle, batteries are very commonplace in our lives now. Mm -hmm. However, with electric vehicles, the technology that's implemented within the battery pack ensures healthy battery packs over a long period of time. But before we dive into more information on that, let's talk about warranty numbers because this is what you're gonna wanna know in order to be more comfortable with your battery pack. Absolutely. So the Chevy Bolt and Chevy Bolt EUV, if you have the longer Bolt, come with an eight year, 100,000 mile warranty for the battery pack. What this means is within the warranty itself, you have a retention period of up to 60%. Now basically what that means is say for example, you have an iPhone or an Android, you can only charge up to 80%. That means you're still missing the top 20% of your battery. So similar to electric cars versus your iPhones, say for example, your car can, your Chevy Bolt can only charge to 60%. Well, that means you still are missing that 40% buffer when it was brand new. So because of that, Chevy will actually replace your battery pack for you if you meet that threshold, kind of similar to how Apple will replace your battery in an iPhone. Which is great. It is. <laughs> yes, which is definitely great. So as Tyler just mentioned, older bolts may not see the lifespan on the battery pack that they used to when they were brand new. However, what's great about this battery warranty is that even the first year that the bolt was made, 2017, is still covered under that factory warranty. Mm -hmm. And what's also great about this warranty is that it's transferable between owners. So if you do end up picking up a used bolt, you still get that factory warranty that covers the battery pack for at least a few years, mm -hmm. which is great. But let's talk about warranties of combustion engines and the cost that goes into reinstalling a brand new engine. Yeah, so on average, what we are seeing for cars five years or older, uh, which is the typical powertrain warranty is five years, 60,000 miles. So right off the bat, the battery warranty is even greater mm -hmm. you know, compared yep. to an ICE car. However, what we've been seeing in our research is for ICE cars, the typical engine cost just alone, not you know extra labor, not extra parts, not extra fluids, is about three to $5,000. Now that's for a basic motor, it's not going to be your huge V8 turbocharged, you know, electrified hybrid, you know, truck engine, for example. That's going to cost you about, you know, ten to twenty thousand dollars. So it's a, it's a whole lot more. Yeah. So that's the thing with a lot of gas combustion cars is after that five years, and or sixty thousand miles, whichever one you reach first, you're going to be spending quite a lot of money to put that back in the car, and that could be anywhere from a turbo to a cylinder head to a piston to a rod. And it also really depends on what that engine block is made out of. Different types of metals cost cheaper or might be even more. So really it varies quite a lot. Yes, exactly. And as Tyler touched on, also cost of labor too. Depending on how much needs to go into an engine, your cost of labor could be extensive, yeah. which is gonna be a lot more than the battery pack is when it's covered under warranty for the remaining years compared to that average combustion engine. Mm -hmm. So now that we discussed the cost of how much an internal combustion engine costs outside of warranty to reinstall or reproduce, let's talk about the cost of a battery pack just in case if your Chevy Bolt is out of that warranty based on how many miles you have on the odometer. Mm -hmm. So according to ChevyBolt.org, an owner was actually quoted in November 2018 that their 2018 Bolt was going to cost about $16 plus thousand dollars for a battery replacement with about $870 worth of labor costs, which is really not terrible. It's mm -hmm. not too bad. Not at all. However, with the new Bolts... 
Yeah, so if you have a 2020 or newer Bolt because you have the 66 kilowatt hour battery pack, so it's a little bit larger than the older Bolts, it was about 16,000. But that is because over time we have learned that the more battery packs that are produced, the cheaper it is to produce them, including yep. the cells and all the materials that go into that. So a 2020 Bolt owner was quoted just under $16,000, including labor, which is actually pretty good. Yep. And as trends have shown, the battery or cost of battery production is going down year after year. Mm -hmm. So battery packs are going to cost cheaper over time, Yep. which is great. <laughs> <laughs> So now let's dive into the battery usage reports that our sponsor Recurrent has provided us for a Chevy Bolt EV that has almost 30,000 miles. So here we have the Recurrent report for the 2020 Chevy Bolt EV. And right away, you'll notice at the top that Recurrent provides a notification for the Chevy Bolt recall notice. And if you're not familiar with the Chevy Bolt recall, there was a few um, instances where the battery packs caught on fire. So General Motors recalled pretty much every single Chevy Bolt and Bolt EUV produced just to make sure that the battery packs were safe. They did some buybacks as well as battery replacements for the drivers. So it's really nice that Recurrent is providing that notification for these Bolt drivers just as a heads up since they are continuously monitoring for battery degradation. So this example is a great example because this Bolt has almost 40,000 miles and it's located in Los Angeles, California. And for the month of April, 91 data points were collected with a driving of average of 26 miles daily. And this driver charged their vehicles between 21 to 67% and it was 101 degrees outside. So extremely hot, but you can see that this driver was really maintaining that state of charge in that green zone. So let's dive down to the range insights. So right away, you can see that the 2020 uh, Bolt with almost 40,000 miles is still maintaining an average range of 246 miles. The EPA rated range is 259 miles. So yes, there is a slight decrease, but bear in mind that the external temperature tends to be continuous around 101 degrees, which is very hot. But since the Bolt does have a battery management system, it's definitely doing its best to maintain the interior temperature of the battery to prolong battery life and uh, prevent some degradation. But you will notice that there is a slight decrease just because it is hotter where this driver is living. Now let's go down to the charging insights. And as you can see, the data points collected for the month of April, the driver is maintaining a 40% average state of charge, which is right in that middle ground between 20 and 80%. It's interesting that this driver is maintaining that state of charge, but because of the battery recall, Chevy did limit some of the state of charge just to maintain that their battery packs were healthy and making sure that they were working properly for their drivers. So I definitely think that that's why we did see this state of charge, but it is still within that green zone and that driver is doing whatever they can to maintain a healthy battery for their Chevy Bolt. And we'll dive down to the um, comparable range versus similar vehicles. The Bolt's been out for about five years now, so there's plenty of Bolts within Recurrence fleet. So they're continuously monitoring and comparing to other Chevy Bolts within their fleet. And as you can see, this Bolt still has six years out of eight years of their battery warranty and about 64,000 miles left, which is still really impressive. And the battery pack is about two years old. Um, and as we've noticed that there is a slight decrease in their maximum state of charge or their driving range. And that's really because the driver is living in a hotter temperature. So just bear in mind that that does impact your driving range, but that does not mean that there is battery degradation. So it will be really interesting to see as the Chevy Bolt and as recurrent reports on it, just exactly how that maintains its battery life. But you can see that it does fit right in the middle compared to other bolts within recurrence fleet. Now let's dive down to the market insights because this is still a really interesting part of Recurrence reporting. As you can see that based on this report, this value of the Chevy Bolt went up about 8% for a total of almost $32,000 in terms of estimated market value, which is really impressive because only a few years ago, the Bolt's value was low compared to some other vehicles on the market, but it's great to see that the Bolt is holding its value even longer now. So anyways, everybody, that's going to be it for another debunking common electric vehicle misconception videos. We want to thank our sponsor Recurrent for providing battery usage data reports to us 
For other electric vehicles, and specifically the Chevy Bolt EV, that will definitely provide information showing that battery packs will last a lot longer than a lot of people may think, which is great to see. Yeah. So along with our other misconception videos, we'll uh, include citations as well as our sources down in the description below. So if you wanna check out those articles, you can. And definitely make sure you sign up for a monthly report through Recurrence website. We'll include a link in the description as well because they're incredibly useful battery reports. Absolutely. And for some really exciting news, we have officially launched our website, which is everydayevproductions.com. That is now going to be our merch store. Yep. We also have a feed for all of our latest videos. We also have a donation button for those who want to donate to us and help us create more content, more videos. Yep. And we are super excited. So go get your t-shirts like this one that Brandon's wearing <laughs> or anything else that we've designed. We are super excited to launch this website. Exactly. And if you guys do end up purchasing merch from our store, we'll send you a personal thank you video for sponsoring and helping Everyday EV. So Definitely. we really appreciate it. <laughs> well, as always, if you, if you haven't yet, make sure you consider subscribing to Everyday EV. Like and share this video with your friends, especially those who are questioning and looking for answers on electric vehicles. Mm -hmm. And as always, make sure you take care, stay safe, and make Everyday Electrified. And we'll see you guys in the next one.